we tackle the topics America just ain't ready for. Too strong. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen and ladies, and all of that, and all in between. Say it with your chest. Say it with my chest. Say it the best I can. The best I can is all I can do. That's the best I got. Mm -hmm. I tried. Mm -hmm. We are going to get into this today, and I want to say before we start that um, uh, we apologize for yesterday for allowing the trolls to interfere with our live stream. So today... Today, we have made a vow to try <laughs> <laughs> to try to not let that happen again. I will put a disclaimer. I will put a disclaimer. Since Corey Engel put it, because I know how we are. <laughs> Sometimes we get childish in the middle of it. And if we do, we apologize now. I apologize. Yeah. Now. I don't think it's, I, you know what? With, what we're going to do is, so here's the deal. Before we start uh, asking y'all to share and stuff, I want to set down the rules. So remind us. If somebody come in and start trolling, I'll just simply let them know, hey, there will be a time where we can call in, not show up on the show, but you can call in. And when you call in, you'll be respectful or you'll be kicked out because we don't got time to play around. And if you don't answer questions, we're getting you out of there really fast. We get Ain't nobody three, got time for that. That's right. Yeah, we get two or three, two or three chances. Then we out of there and on to the next. So because we want our shows to go smoother, we don't want to get caught up in, and disturbed by these uh, trolls. Um Although we do have our favorite troll. I hope she's in the room today. I think she is. Uh, she said she was. She threatened me. I got some threats, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the Black Democratic Caucus. Did I say that right? It's supposed mm -hmm. to show, they supposed to show up at my door uh, next week. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck for that. Good luck with uh, that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you now. This ain't what you think. <laughs> if you think if you think that's gonna fly, it ain't is is you're gonna be in for a big surprise. Um, but moving on from that, <clears throat> please like and share this video. We need to talk about this. Um again yeah, from all over the place here. That is yeah, thank you. Yeah, why don't y'all type in there where y'all from? Again, we need we need to talk about this because what's this is what's happening, man. And all serious to the all seriousness, all jokes to the side for a minute, because we like to play and have fun. So we're gonna play. I'm telling you that now, we're gonna joke, but the reason why this show is important is because it's not just to like talk about people. You know what I'm saying? Like it may come off like that sometimes, but I'm telling you, trust me, these things need to be exposed. You you don't have no idea how many texts and emails and messages we get. People telling us they did not know this stuff and they was following these people uh, religiously. You know what I'm saying? So we need to expose it, put it out there and let people know because sometimes people just la 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 la. And just walking around, just doing stuff, and don't realize the dangers that you're uh, putting yourself in because of the stuff. So, um, with that being said, share the uh, share the video, like. Let's get some likes up there. We don't have enough likes. Uh, we need. Yeah, to give us our likes or else. Yeah, we we clout chasing. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wondering, it's iced tea. Don't stress out. Okay, I make my own iced tea because I learn from the best people in the south. Okay. Mm -hmm. Merlin drunk. Don't let this do for you. <laughs> I'm just trying to be like TD Jakes. That's all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so uh let's dig in, man. So we got we um we dug a little, we hold on, I, I gotta use Merlin word. We delve a little deeper, yeah, and um and found some information. And let's start with uh let's try to start why with, your phone going off the hook like that. What is going I, on? That's people calling already. Ain't time yet. Stop. It I ain't thought, time yet. I thought that uh they got the number. <laughs> wow. What's happening? What's happening, Elmer Rob? What it do, man? Uh, True Essence. Oasis. What's up, all my haters? What's up? Melanie, we appreciate you all. Y'all like and share and hit the uh, hit the like button for us. All right. So one thing, uh, the first thing I want to start with is he has multiple paths. I'm interviewing Merlin, y'all. So Merlin, so uh, I hear that you claim that uh, T.D. Jakes, mm -hmm. Bishop T.D. Jakes, Say that there are multiple paths to heaven. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, yes, there are multiple paths to heaven. It's whatever path you pick. As we know, that you uh, you can pick whatever path you want. It's however you feel at the time. That's pretty much what he thinks. You see, if you can find a church that believes what you believe, that's good enough. I mean, heck, if you want to find a church that believes that you worship a, a piece of chicken, 
Uh, as long as it's fried and that'll get you to heaven, he's okay with that. As long as you don't interrupt someone else's church that doesn't believe that chicken will get you to heaven, you'll be okay. And that's what he. <laughs> I find that I find that kind of weird, but <laughs> let let me let me put an interesting twist on this. <clears throat> so you got different people that believe in different things. You know, you got all different kind of religions. I know, and I know where you at because I'm in the same place with you. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. So, what if somebody was to come back and say, "Well, Merlin, um, I don't believe that. I don't believe what y'all believe, and it's okay for me to." So, so let's be very specific because he he condones homosexuality in the churches, mm -hmm. uh, and that's clear, right? So some people feel like they believe that, and that that's okay. And and why are we? Why does that bother us that he's mm -hmm. doing that? Uh, or why, why does that bother you? Why wouldn't it? Uh, okay, so okay, <laughs> uh, let me put it this way: if <clears throat> if I say I believe something, okay, um, and it's I can show you where what I believe is written down in the book or place that I say I believe it from. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come to me and say, well, that's not what it says. And you could literally read it. And it doesn't say what you said it says, but you say it anyway. And then want me to believe you over what's written, then that's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty cut and dry. I mean. That's major, yeah. Uh, yeah. And not only that, then you encourage people to not look at what I was looking at, but to take your word for it. <clears throat> That's what they do. You know what? I, I tell again, I say this all the time. When I first um, got in church, like seriously was moving, you know, looking for seeking God for real. W once I started studying, I was like, what are they teaching in there? And it was crazy. The stuff that I, that I found out. And I just I just, you know, casually told him, hey, I'm out of here. I can't I can't deal with this. This is crazy. Um, so what what was it? So he, he condones homosexuality. What proof do we have that he condones homosexuality? Um, I'm going to show you right here. Do you want do you want visual proof, audible proof? Uh, let's do audible. Audible. You, you don't need visual. No, 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 no. Because we don't want to. Okay. Play. Okay. Let me find it to you for you here. All right. I'll play it for you. Um, how's the best way to do that? Uh, put it on speaker. <clears throat> um, I apologize now if you guys hear anything feedback wise. Okay. So here you go. This is his interview with a certain black individual, and he's asking him a question about homosexuality. So listen up. Our, our digital community said, so do, you, do you think, I'm assuming, uh, LGBT community in the black church can coexist? Absolutely. I, I, let me push that question, because that, that's sort of an obvious yes. Church ain't turning nobody away. How should the black church and the LGBT community exist? I think it's going to be diverse from church to church. Every church has a different opinion on the issue, and every gay person is different. And I think that to to speak the church, the black church or white church or any kind of church you want to call it, are all the same is totally, totally not true. And all gay people are not the same. The, the, the types of relationships that are afforded are based on the types of people in each individual case. Yes. And the LGBTs of whites and sorts have to find a household of worship that reflects what your views are and what you believe like anybody else. And the church should have the right to have its own convictions and values. If you don't like those convictions and values, you totally disagree with it. Don't try to change my house, move into your own. There you go. The church, the church has, has, yeah, it's right. Go ahead, Merlin. You, you can say it better. Oh, so <laughs> if... <laughs> You know, mess now, <laughs> now, hold on. Okay, I want to verify something. The church is supposed to be the body, right? The body of God, right? It's supposed to be the body, which means it should reflect the head. Okay, now, if you're telling me that I need to go find a body that reflects the kind of head I want, then obviously you are telling me that there's not one head. Or that head is schizophrenic. And oh, you can pick whatever type of body you want as long as it, it does what you want it to do. Now, let's swing it around. And what did the Bible say about a two head, two heads? You can't have it. That's a monster. <laughs> That's a demon. <laughs> like, okay, so. All right. Okay, okay, okay. In the words of Joe Pesci. Okay, 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 okay. Every homosexual person is different and every church is different. And they have the right to decide how they want to believe. I want you to analyze what that means 
in the large scale of things. You have a body that calls itself the church. He thinks that that body has the right to believe whatever they want to believe as long as they all believe it. Remember, the body is supposed to reflect the head and the head is supposed to lead the body. I don't know if you are familiar with uh, um, people that have um, Parkinson's when the head is trying to tell the body to do something and the body can't and it's doing this number here. It's not responding well or you have Tourette's and you can't control your outbursts. He's calling the church a schizophrenic, demonic possessed thing. It's not going to listen to the head. It, if whatever the body feels like doing, then you don't really have a leadership. You're not following God. You're obviously not following God because you say you can do whatever you want. And he's fine with this. He's literally telling people, if you, you know, find whatever, make sure you find something that you believe and make sure they believe it and you're good to go. Yeah. Well, the, the part the part that he said, you got to let me finish before you, before you jump on me. I'm, I'm going to hush. I haven't drinking tea. Anymore. Shh. Be quiet. Don't say that. The part that he said about every church should have a right to, how do he say it? Say it again, bro. Oh, I can interrupt now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say, oh, you got stuck. Now you need me, huh? Now you need me. <laughs> to believe what they want to believe. Right. So he's correct about that. Until, up until the point to where you hold up the Bible and you say, we are Christians. And this is what we go by. And this is what, it, this is the word of God. That's what he's saying. So then he taking a book and he hold it right in your face and saying, well, it's okay. It's okay to do that. And somebody asked a question, when a, does Jake condone it? Or does he encourage homosexuals to come into church to hear the word if, if uh, of God, big difference? Uh, yeah, well, just listen to the tape. And he never said that. He never, he never said that. He said every church should have a right to believe however they want to believe. And that's their right because homosexuals, all homosexuals are different. But God is one God and God is the same and it don't change. You can't be divided. So, yeah, you can't be divided. So so that's a that's an out. Um and I understand, you know, I, I get it that people <clears throat> people want to um they want to try to um defending. You know what I'm saying? Because he got this big name and and you probably invested some uh, time and energy into it. And so a lot of times our pride won't let us pull out of the situation. I remember I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, he was telling me that he believed that men are gods, that we gods. And um, so I said, dude, like you need to stop with that. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not God. You know what I'm saying? So he invested so much time in telling everybody that and and you know, and, and to the church that going to the church that taught him that, that he didn't want to pull out of it because he felt like he had so much invested. So the problem is, is uninvest because your, your, uh, your salvation is not worth it. Acting like you believe this stuff that you don't, that's called uh blasphemy. And we don't want to get into that. Yeah. You, you stepping on some um, yeah. very hot coals at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Point. yeah. <clears throat> especially, especially when you know better, that's uh super duper dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So now, now the flip side is if he thinks that way about that, why? Um, so what I, I investigated to see if perhaps, mayhaps, he might have participated in that lifestyle before. Um, I've watched his mannerisms. And um, you want to play that? You want to play that one little clip? Yeah, but 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 hold on. I got to address something. <laughs> how you, how you going to get? You're going to tell me not to release that video I made. Now you're going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm releasing it now. You didn't mess up. Okay, good. <laughs> you remember the one you said you're trying to start a fight? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to expose the truth. Okay. Yeah, go, go ahead and play the one. <clears throat> you got it? I, well, it's in the same part there. So I can I can, you can bring that back. Can play it. I, I can I play can, that one. Yeah, we, yeah. I don't think he gonna he didn't um I don't think he's gonna strike us for it. For that piece, just that part. Okay. That's all I'm gonna do is playing that one for that one piece. Okay. I'm not playing the whole thing. Oh, wait, hold piece. on. Oh, that's right here already. Okay, then play it. He's busy flapping his hands around. Good. Play it. Play it again. Play it again. He's busy flapping his hands around. You know, listen, man. I said we was gonna try to be serious, but but, but no, no, it's not. No, but look, no. This is serious, though. <clears throat> 
I want to ask you something. So in, in everything that we do, you know, it's, it's logical, right? They say, well, how do you know? Like, it's, it's we always want to want to defend homosexuality. Um, two things I want to say about that. This pastor, and I got this from somebody else. He said, have you noticed that every time a pastor be, start to bring up homosexuality or gay, this is what they do. Well, I'm just, I'm sorry, but I got to tell you, but now listen, I'm not trying to offend nobody, mm -hmm. you know, and all this. And, and he pamper it up first mm -hmm. before he speak on it. But when it comes to uh, smoking dope or murder, you go right in, boom. You know what I'm saying? Homosexuality has has somehow gotten a hold of us to where we are scared to talk about it. And I think that's connected to this cancel culture stuff. But see, we don't care. We don't care. Cancel us out there because it's not right. It's wrong. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's clear. But um, it was another one too. <laughs> Happened his hands around. Man, that's just too funny. I, now. I, I, I said I did some digging, right? I said I did some digging. And a individual um, who had a interaction in with T.D. Jakes when he was first starting out before he got super mega big, put a his story together and put it on the Internet. And he decided that he was not going to take it down until... Um, somebody denounced it or they said no it's not true so i found it and i read it and i have to tell you if if what he's saying is 100 percent factual um i have no choice but to believe him i'm going to bring it up so you can read it with me um because I'm a firm believer of what you see, I see. Okay? You know me. I don't like uh, reading something and you can't see it too. Corey knows that's how I am. Okay, so here it is. And uh, <clears throat> so what we have here is I'm including the comments at the bottom of this post. If the allegation are proven to be untrue, I'll remove the post. But until then... This and T.D. Jakes' own words are two witnesses. The first of the words are from Jake's alleged victims after the comments in the article where Jake alludes to a lesbian relationship with Ruth and Naomi. Now, you see what I mean? Like he con con condones it. And I've heard this nonsense before from preachers where they said that Ruth and Naomi were the first lesbians in the Bible. And the homosexual relationship between King David and Jonathan. And I hope people understand, first of all, that is dangerous you want to this is how they they practice the condoning of it okay by making that a normal thing and i don't know if you ever heard that um, people say that before uh cory about those two people uh, being the, the the gay representations in the bible um so um I want to see where that. So I, I'm going to. Should I read the whole thing for you? This is about how long it is. I'm going to go through, and this is it's long. But if you want me to stop at any point and tell me, okay? Or just just just, par just paraphrase it, and then okay. they, they can go look it up later. We we can. I'll, yeah, I'll leave the link. In fact, you know what I'll do? Let me copy the link. I'll put it in the chat, so you guys have it there. Okay. But there is one particular part I want to see. I want you to 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 hear. Okay, where I can. It's larger now, so I have to. Okay. Bishop Jake started climbing the ladder in preaching circles around the tri-state area and seems to just have doors open before him without much effort. He would tell me of stories with other preachers and their involvement in scandal after scandal, always remarking that it was shameful and that he was supportive of the leaders who were under demonic attack. I would later find out that he was supportive because he was exactly what they were, homosexual. I have an amazing level of warfare because of the knowledge that I have concerning Bishop Jakes. I have sought godly counsel from men who, whom I respect and only to be told that it was my responsibility to cover him. Mm. I brought it out into, I brought it out, uh, brought into it, bought into it and did what I thought was right until a month, until month after month passed and year after year. And I would hear of young men that he was introducing to the unholy lifestyle. I could only ask God to help me with what I should do, what I knew after much travail in prayer 
And also after enduring an amazing onslaught from the people who used to be my friends, I came to the conclusion. First, I have asked God to forgive me from my silence. While Bishop Jakes was not successful in his attempt to have sex with me, he did everything he could to convince me. After seeing that I would not fall for his tactic, he said something to me that to this day still reverberates in my ear. Sometimes too much light hurts the eyes. Mm. Mm. And didn't he, uh, who, who was that guy, uh, Eddie Long? Mm -hmm. the, the one that got caught with the pictures and all that? Yes. Was that him? And he was, uh, he was like, y'all better leave him alone. He, he, um, he stood up for this guy. And, and listen, it's it's okay to um, to uh, to help your brothers out, no matter what state they're in. But I'm not going to stand up for it, and I'm going to call it right out and say that it was wrong and you need to step down. No way, no way in the world am I going to tell you to keep preaching, and that's okay for you to do if you're doing something like that and you're standing in front of people representing the same guy that I represent. Now, maybe I can't stop you, but I can at least bring people attention to it. That's right. That's right. And and that's what that's what dude was saying before he said he's busy flapping his hands around. He was saying that why don't TD Jakes say nothing? He won't speak on it. And the reason is is because it is a marketing tool for him. He gets money by bringing in the homosexuals. Any church that's that huge, they bring in a bunch of homosexuals because they, they need somewhere to go. And they're so loving and so giving. I don't want to say loving because there is no love. They're so giving because they really appreciate them opening the door for them. And they just, they can like, you know, connect with that. And, and it's wrong. There's no good in that. And it's just, it's just demonic. You know, it's, it's demonic. And um, homosexuality, I'm going to say it again. People don't like when I say it. So I'm going to say it again. Homosexuality is evil. Okay. And if you disagree, then you disagree. That's your thing. But homosexuality is evil. And homosexuality, I'm thinking a little bold, Marlon, is taking this country to hell in a handbasket in a handbasket i want to address this comment um yes i'll answer your question we are not talking about the anomaly of birth where people are born with multiple genitalia but what we do and can see as markers is that one sex i don't care about this gender nonsense is more dominant in that person than the other. They're not equal in that person. There is usually a dominant one over the other. One functions and one doesn't, which is why you pick the dominant one. That's not being born gay. Plain and simple. If you are, it's no different than me being born with an extra arm. So because I'm born with an extra arm, all of a sudden, what, now I'm, I'm, that's normal? It's not normal. That's an anomaly. I'm supposed to have two, so they remove the third one. Because you know what normally happens when you're born with a third? It does not function like the other two. It becomes a hindrance. You remove it. It's an anomaly. You find a dominant, you pick the dominant, and move forward. These issues that people like to put forward of, hey, you know... What about hermaphrodites and what about this and what about that? It is all an anomaly. Plain and simple, it's an anomaly. No child shows up out of the womb and does this. Doesn't or, happen. Or flap their hands around. Or flap your hands around. Um, I got a different, I got diff, I got a different answer to your question. First, I'm gonna do what I like to do and answer it directly, and then I'll elaborate. Yes. Now that sounds crazy, right? Yes, but what? But yes, it's evil when someone oh. is born with both male and female. Well, because and allow me, allow me to elaborate for mm -hmm. one second. The evil took place before the birth. There was something that had to happen. You know how they're doing all this this uh, plan with uh, DNA and genetics mm -hmm. and and all this different stuff. Something happened evil before that happened. That is not God's doing right there. That is somebody playing around with science and made that happen. And that's evil. Now, is the person evil? I didn't say that. I said it's evil. It is a direct uh, picture of evil when somebody's born with two genders because that's not the way God intended it to be. Uh, that's my answer. And uh, understand, Martin didn't say that. I said that. And you're wrong. 
Okay, I'm wrong. Yeah, uh, <laughs> flapping your hands around. Flapping my hands around. Um, no, but that's that's like I said. You you, you if, if that's the case physically, you're born. Bop, bop, there is always, always a dominant gender. Always, period. Always. You know why they haven't been able to find a um, male female skeleton? Mm. Just just a question. You ever find? You ever mm. have to, ever found a male female skeleton? Not that I know of. Oh, okay. I never heard of that. I ain't never even thought to even think about that. <laughs> they don't ever find a bisexual skeleton either. And it's like, <laughs> you don't stop, man. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, this is a bisexual skeleton. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. Oh, That's we can tell one. this one had both male and female or, genitalia. Or, okay, so if, if they born that way, right? How come when they come out the womb, the doctor can't say, oh, that's a gay? Can they be tested for it? I don't know. Just saying. I, yeah. I mean, hey, that's a gay. If it's genetic, if you're born that way. You, the doctor should know it, right away. It's not like red hair and it's not like, you know, dark Golden. skin. It's, it is not the same. Going to upset too early. I will always go back to saying if you can't find it in the skeleton, it's probably not because I'm this why God did this. He, he ain't dumb. Okay. God ain't silly. God's a very smart man. All right. He, he knew what he was doing when he made the skeleton the last hope of finding out who somebody is. After all the flesh goes away, all of a sudden you can know by the shape of the hips, so the location that's a man. of the rib. It's a man. Got a man. Like what? around here, tricking. How people. you know that? Wait, wait, to ask God how he how he did it. <laughs> like, okay, now, Corey, you know that when and women know this, that when you have a, a baby inside you, your organs, your internal body structure changes to accommodate a human. That's right. Men bodies can't do it. Our hips can't move. It can't dislocate. It can't do it. It can't. It's not made to do it. That's why it can't do it because it's not made to do it. Yeah. That's why they can find a skeleton and say that's a that's a female skeleton. That's why you can tell when you look at a, a kid early in the game and they're doing this little gay stuff. They probably learned it from TV or from their mama. Listen, it's really simple. Just check it. Don't close your eyes to it. Really see what you see and pull them to the side and check it. That's it. You got to check these things. Kids are going to do things. They will show you signs of stuff. And a lot of times they think that these things are okay. And then once they get to a certain age and they mind, they know it's okay. I mean, ever talk to a gay person, what you mean that you cannot convince some of these people that is, that is wrong because they have been convinced that it was okay because they didn't nobody check it correctly in the beginning. And that's where I think that we fell in because all, I, I, I don't want to say all, but I'm just say me. I think this is what I think again. I told y'all, I just think, I strongly believe. One of the biggest fears, and maybe it's me, as a man, when I had boys, I was like, man, God, please don't let these jokers be gay. I don't want no gay boy, man. I don't, I'm on, I don't know gay girl either, I'm saying. But when you look at these cats, man, and you're like, man. And I used to really watch my kids, man. Um, maybe if, if I was living right at the time, I wouldn't have been so paranoid. But I, did, I was paranoid. I didn't like that stuff. I mean, because I know it's so... It's so common nowadays and so many people doing it and I didn't want them to feel like they could uh, be that way and be like, I so my kids know that I don't play that gay shit. So uh, I do know this. If either one of them was, that they would know not to come to me with no uh, same sex time about this, my boyfriend or my girlfriend. I ain't going for it. Oh, come uh, on. You're not accepting of your child's decisions? No. They were born that way, Corey. No. Not doing Corey, it. Corey, no. God says to love your neighbor. And no. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for this dude. <laughs> oh man. So um hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Read that. Which one? It really is a sad state of affairs when what you're saying, Merlin, is considered offensive and could result in you being fired from work socially. Exercise and, and sometimes some, arrest. Yeah, yeah, facts. But that you know, but if you look, if it's a real conviction, if it really is something that you believe, do you realize that being fired and ostracized is a small price to pay? Like it oh, really absolutely. is a small price to pay. Absolutely. Good point. Good so point. that's okay. I'll be ostracized. Yeah. Um, that's fine. But uh, but back to the T D Jake's idea things. Now 
you can understand if, and this is why I think that story is true, which is why I think that story is true. His stance on it is so standoffish that he wants to allow it in any church that wants to allow it. The yeah, reason absolutely. he won't talk about mm -hmm. it is because he's probably, and that, it, it, hey, that's human nature. I won't talk against something that I'm doing. Right, right. You'd be like, <laughs> or if I am doing it, I won't call it what I'm talking against. No, I'll call we'll it something call it else. Something. Like, you look at, with it. yeah, you look at TikTok today, just TikTok. The same people that say they fight racism will use racism as a tool <laughs> and say, right. well, that's not racist. I can't be racist. So, no, it's, it's different. Yeah. What, what's up with the soy products? Mary asked about the soy. Yes, yeah, soy does have estrogen. So, it, what it does, it, it inhibits um, testosterone. And so you end up with a lot of feminized, and if you feed them, like, that's why I never, ever gave any formula that had soy products in it to any of my kids. Oh, wow. You don't want to do that. Wow. I didn't, I didn't do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Oasis said, today it's a behavior that is being taught. Children who have been the slightest social awkwardness are easily led to believe that they must be gay because they feel uncomfortable around the opposite sex. Yes, that's what they teach. And that is a terrible, terrible thing to, uh, to teach a kid, Merlin said. Merlin made a made a uh, point. He said, "We should have freedom of speech, not freedom of evil." <laughs> mm -hmm. I had a I had a problem putting that in the words. I couldn't figure out what I was trying to say. Right? I'm like, I ain't gonna say it because it don't sound. I couldn't figure it out. But but that was really simple. Freedom of speech, not freedom of evil. And freedom of evil should be actually more um, more prohibited than than uh, than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because we just can't put that stuff to the side and allow this stuff to keep happening. And we got to keep our our kids. I know I know I, I, I relate everything to kids because this is how I feel. And again, I'm open for correction. I feel like that this world, the people in this world, once you have reached a certain age and, and a, a certain age limit, the chances of helping you, this chance of helping these people are like very low. The ratio is low. But if you can catch them while they're kids, I think that you stand a, a much greater chance of um, not correcting the problem all the way, but at least, you know what I'm saying, easing up the pain on it. You know what I'm saying? That's why when um when I when I propose my uh my uh, my grant my grant to the city, I always tell them, look, I don't deal with high school. I deal with elementary. I need to do elementary and maybe middle school, but right now I'm focusing on elementary so that they can come up with that. You know what I'm saying? Then maybe pass them on to another program. Cause we got to catch these kids young before they get indoctrinated with these thoughts. And that's what they're doing now. They got these kids in these classrooms and they feeding them all this mess so that by the time you realize what happened, it's too late. And then you know what they're telling the kids? Don't tell your parents we talked about this. They just don't understand. They old-fashioned. So don't do that. And then they believe it. I had to um, tell my kids, listen, don't never, ever, ever, ever think that your teacher, uh, dictator, mandate, anything around here, <laughs> you know, uh, period. I don't care about what you, I mean, I always teach them to respect their teachers. But if your teacher tell you don't tell me something or something like that, Make sure you let me know. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your teacher feel like, make you feel like she's uh, like your boss, the head of you. You know, she your, your boss at school or whatever you want to call it, but not at, not in this house. And not if I show up either. <clears throat> you muted, Marla. I realize that now. Are you guys all right with letting these people use their God-given free will to choose to accept homosexuality, allow them into churches, etc., uh, be it on on their head or are you guys actually want to stop and prevent such things via laws we can't stop it via laws it's still going to happen um the heart of man is going to be continuously evil what we can do is show people what god says and at the end of everything you will have to give an account all i can do is tell people what god says if you don't want what god says that is completely up to you i can help people stop doing something evil by telling them it's evil their heart has to come around to say yeah that's evil i ain't gonna do it no more put, if you want to continue living that lifestyle feel free to do it because you have the god-given right because you have the right to choose he wants you to choose good i've shown you old man what is good if you don't want it, you don't want it. But you can't regulate that. Not even God regulated it. I want you to understand, laws ain't going to do nothing. You just make people more angry about it. 
all we can do is tell people, show them where it says it. If after all of that, they still want to do it, they can because the consequence is built in. I don't have to give them a consequence. God will give them the consequence. And when it's at the end of it, they're not even going to have a chance to say, I have an appeal to make. You won't have an appeal. You make them aware of those two things. It's wrong and it, it, it can be too late. It, it definitely has a too late button on there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so once that button's on there, I can't stop them and I'm not going to stop them. That's not my job. My job is to present the information, present the truth. He, look, and I go back to how Jesus sent people out. This is what he did to his disciples, right? He said, go out and preach the gospel, right? If you come to a town, this is exactly what he said, right? If you come to a town and they don't want to hear you, don't waste your time there. Dust your feet off and move on. Sounds callous, doesn't it? When you get to a town, you preach the gospel, they don't want to hear it. He didn't say, keep battering in them with it. He said, you did it. You told them they didn't want to hear. You know what your next step is? Move on to the next town. Dust your feet. Wash it. That, that's it. You're done. Out. Go yeah. to the next town. That's all we are going to do. My job is not to convince anybody. That's God's job, not mine. I present them with the info. I show them where he says it. I move on. <clears throat> if it was, okay, so you asked the question, uh, you know, are you guys all right with letting these people use their God-given free will to choose to accept homosexually, um, sexuality, allow them in the churches, et cetera, be it on their head? Well, no, I'm not I'm not okay with that, uh, but it's not my choice, and I understand that, so I don't try to even enforce that because who am I to enforce that? Uh, or are you guys, do you guys, or you guys actually want to stop and prevent such things via laws? Um, if you'd have asked me that some years ago, I would have said, yeah, I do want to, but as I uh, grew uh, mentally and spiritually, I realized that I don't put effort into trying to stop something that I can't. Uh, I don't have any any um, any rule over that. But if it if it was, I would. But that's the difference between me and God. Um, God gives us a choice. He gives us the, the the will to do to choose whatever side you want to be on. Me, I don't have as much. Uh, Faith or I'm not him. So I would just stop it because I don't want it around my family. But I, I real reality tells me that that's not real and that that's impossible. But if it was up to me, then yeah, I would do that. Which but is why it's a good thing it's not up to me. I'll right. Tell you <laughs> why I'm, yeah, I'm, I am right. really glad it's not up to me because here's here's what I do. And this is why I don't mm. have as much um, grace for people. Okay, I just don't have as much grace as God would. Um, which is why I cannot be left none of us can be left to try and coerce somebody or coax or help anybody get to God. All we can tell you is how God meets you. You have to make the next step to go meet with God. He will commune with you. I cannot force you to do it. The same way you can rear your child up. And Corey knows this. If you can, you can tell your child everything that needs to be said. Give them all the tools for life. And then when they get old, they ignore all of it because of what they want. And then they will come back and tell you, well, this is what happened. I, I gave you all the information you possibly needed and you still messed up. That was all on you. Will I still take them back and help them out? Maybe. It depends. Do I want to? Yes, of course I will want to. But it's I have to weigh now. Should I let you learn this lesson on your own? Or is it something so drastic that I have to step in? You, you have to understand this. We, as if we say we believe in God, we're not the ones that changes someone's hearts. Okay, we, we're, that's not us. No. <laughs> um, and if that's not us, then we cannot put that burden on ourselves. We can't tell people we are the reason for you changing. We might be the reason for you hearing something. After that point, if the bulb goes off, it's because he is already talking to you and he kind of solidified it for you. But sometimes you can actually feel the bulb go off, but it goes against everything you want. And you know what some people will do? Take that bulb right out of there and smash. <laughs> I don't want that bulb. I'm good living the way I live. Yeah. And at the end of the times, they'll have to answer for that decision. <clears throat> yes, Merla. Um... 
letting gay sit in church service may be what they need to see the air of their ways. Um, that that could help. You know what I'm saying? That could help. But they just, they need they need God. You know what I'm saying? They need the Word of God in them. And and He there, He tapping at their heart. That's why they're at the church in the first place. Yeah, yeah, that's why they got there. Yeah. yeah, that's what that's how they got there. But the thing is, there's a there's a big difference of me allowing a gay person or a murderer or a any kind of person that's a sinner sit in the church, right? There's a big difference of me allowing that for them to be there than me condoning it. So it's the same thing. If if you come to me and I'm the pastor, mm -hmm. you say, "Hey, Corey, do you um do you condone homosexuality?" My answer is going to be yes. And if I see it in my congregation, I'm sure that the Spirit of God is going to lead me to speak on it, right? But if you ask me that question, I'm going to make it clear: yes, I I do not I do not. I do not accept homosexuality. I don't think it's a good thing. And I think that we should stray away from that. And I will preach and speak against it. Um, the fact that he don't is absolutely condoning it. Period. Mm, period. And not period. just that. Not, how he know he condones it by telling them to go find a church that wants you to be that way. Right. And he didn't say, and then he could have said, now, not at my church. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't make himself clear. He's a very well spoken guy. He articulates very well. I'm talking about very well. Most of these kind artists do. You know what I'm saying? They, hmm. they speak really well and, and they, they are really convinced. If you listen to them, you know, without that, without that spiritual ear, you'd be like, dang, like they really talking good. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's time for us to stand up and stand against this stuff, regardless of what people say or how they feel about it. We, as God's people, has got to start exposing this thing, these things and pointing people in the right direction, especially again. I'm going to go back, especially these babies, because this world is going down. We can um, although we don't get too political, I want to bring this up too about how this country basically and I say basically is being ran by homosexuals right now. And that is the problem. That is the problem. Homosexual homosexuals are taking over this country. Homosexual homosexuality is evil. So now, do you get an idea of where we at right now and why? The the bigger picture here, and I think Corey, Corey knows this, but the bigger, the real, real, real deal. Now, okay, so you have to remember, if if. You live in the flesh. The flesh is very enticing. And Corey and I both know, having lived some life, that what you really want to do feels really good. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if you if you were a drinker, you feels really good to drink. If you're a smoker, it feels really good to smoke. If you just like women being promiscuous, it feels really, really good. The devil knows this. If in my world, if in my world, I have an innate desire to do what I want, I will never follow God. It, it will not happen. I'm not going to go after what he wants. The real push here, why he's using this particular agenda, is because his hierarchy is male-oriented. I want people to understand that it is a very male-oriented hierarchy that God created. The instant the devil saw that, the first thing he had to do, which is why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed the way it was, by the way, was to try and remove men from the position that God put them in. He couldn't beat God. So the first thing he tried to do was attack the men that God put. If you watch throughout the Bible, Job, <laughs> he took tried to take Job out. He tried to take David out. He tried to take Saul out. He tried to take Solomon out. All the disciples he tried to take out. And after all of that, if you look at how even Lot handled the men outside the door, he was completely emasculated because he lived in that society. I want people to understand he lived in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? These men from that from that from that town told him, send out the men that are in there so that we can do what we want with them sexually. To tell you how emasculated Lot was, I'll give you my daughters. Not fight and say, are you insane? No. I'll appease you and I'll give you what you want, but in a different way, have my daughters instead, but leave these men alone. That's the ultimate sign of your manhood being revoked. The devil has been trying to do this for a while, a while now. And he's now being fully successful on a grand scale 
by making it be, oh, it's your choice. It's how you were born. You're muted, by the way. And that's where we don't want to admit it or admit that other people do these things. Not saying that it's anybody here, but people literally hate their kids. It's so crazy to think about that, but it's real. It's reality. If you will allow your children to do that, you hate them. There's no, there's no if, ands, buts about it to me. You hate them because it's only love or hate. And there is no love in allowing your child or encouraging your child to be a homosexual or to prostitute them out. You hate them. Mm -hmm. And so once we come to come to the reality that love and hate is real, we can start looking at things in a very different way because you really had to like, I don't have to self check myself with that. Once I really, really, really accepted that reality, you'd be like, damn, where's the love in that? And if you don't find the love in it, then it's hate. <laughs> you know, it's just that simple. And and we have to learn to uh, to love our kids. Really be conscious of that of that type of thing. That do you really love or hate your kids? Do us a favor and hit the uh, hit the like button. We should we should have at least 150, 200 likes right now. Please hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Help the algorithm move and share the video. Um, I wanted to read one more part to this thing that I was reading earlier because I think it's very telling about what. There's a byproduct, okay? There's a byproduct to people promoting this particular lifestyle. Because if you're quiet about it, what ends up happening is a, a, the, the flip side to the coin is you go in and do exactly what men would do to try and prove that you're a man, right? And this is what the guy says. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this particular part for you here. Um, so um, let me see where I start here. Okay. Then later understood... That what he was saying to me was that, you know, you, you, about the too much light business, all right? Uh, too much light hurts the eyes. At first, I had no idea what he meant. I later understood he was saying to me that had revealed too much of himself to me. What an understatement from such an articulate man. This is where my personal warfare began. Questions began to surface in my head, like what kinds of signs was I giving off that made him think he could approach me? Then the warfare took on a feeling that I felt the need to prove my manhood. I began having sex with as many women as I could to allow me to satisfy my lust to prove manhood, all the while protecting his too much light. The saddest part of this warfare is because of the information that I had. Bishop was afraid that I would use it against him, so he began to forecast me as a troublemaker and a liar. The flip side, the side effect of all of this is this. You will create a, a, a war in a man as a leader. I'm talking about as a leader because that's what he's supposed to be, right? You have now created a second tier fight for men in the church by allowing that in there. Now, you have a man that's a, you know, a, a gay guy, and he goes around approaching men in the church because it's okay. Now men feel the need, and this is just a natural need of men. This is just a natural form for men to outdo what you're doing to make sure you see that I'm not gay, especially if he's single. He's going to start doing the opposite of being gay, which is, means he goes to be a promiscuous person. Now you've led somebody to fall. You've now led your brother into sin. That's also talked about in the Bible, by the way. Don't lead, you know, don't be a stumbling block. You've now made it bad for somebody else in the church. And all the while, the, the, the preacher is okay with it. Because remember, he picked a church that was okay with homosexuality. It's all a side effect, and it's a crumbling house. Yeah. Um, Suzanne asked the question. Yes. Um, con conscience, do any of you uh, to have gays in your family, like your cousin or your brother, sister? Yes. Uh, I have multiple people in my family um, that's gay. And I still love them. And um, I don't, well, it, it's, it's hard for me to say this. I was, I was finna say some that, but it, it wouldn't have made sense. But there, I was going to say I would allow them to come around, but I don't. Um, I just don't, I don't really have people at my house. Very seldom is, is anybody in my house. I'm kind of weird like that. Very, very private person. But the there's a couple, the, the gay people that I'm thinking of in my family. Do I want them in my house or, or around my kids? No, because I don't trust them. I cannot trust them, period. I love them. 
I don't disrespect them. I love them, but I'm not. I'm not really found about found like about that. bringing them around my kids. Yeah, he ain't like I that. don't. I don't like that. And because that's you, me too. That's yeah, me because too. you just never know. I mean, people people carry them spirits, and you know, and them spirits looking for people to jump in. And then on top of that, just think if you, man, like go to the bathroom real quick or something. Like you can't even go to the bathroom no more. They don't they're filling on your kids. I mean, it's, it's crazy. So no, I don't. I don't. I don't um have them around me. Around my kids, and I love them, but I but I do not, uh, I don't condone it, and and I, I, don't, do, I do still love. Them. I don't see why you would take the chance. Okay, it's now, crazy. if it's family, don't tell me it doesn't happen in family because that's place where it normally happens. Okay, one, and like Corey said, it's not that we hate the people. They know my stance. It's not like I'm angry at them all the time, because that's not going to help anything. First of all, it's not going to help. Them, it's not going to help me. But them knowing that I'm convicted about this will, it, oddly enough, help them realize that I must be convicted about something that deeply because it really did speak to me. It will eventually cause them to question what's going on. Because whether you believe it or not, and I mean all of them, know innately something ain't right. Absolutely. They know. And when you stand up, and it doesn't have to be sinner or going to hell. It doesn't be that. It's not, most of the time, it's not even like that. If you come at me and trying to convince me that it and you know, trying to make advance with you, we're going to have a different conversation. But if me just talking to you and you know, I don't hate you, but I don't agree with your life. It's, it's just that simple. But what you live is what you live. I'm not here to tell you that I'm going to denounce denounce every time i meet you know what that, once i the thing is once people know what you know what you believe they don't have to ask you they don't have to keep asking you do you really believe that they'll know because it's consistent when they see you slip up once they can automatically think he ain't really believe that and that's the problem i think with many people that say they follow god they don't really have a consistent belief that they follow with the man hence case in point td jakes he doesn't really know god he knows of god he knows of God. He's like a, a, one of the demons that say, oh, yeah, we believe in God. You know, God exists. That's about it. Because you don't follow. This man don't follow nothing God says. He has a lot of pleasantries and happy thoughts. He's like, he's a black Osteen. A heavy set black Osteen. That's all he is. <laughs> uh, he doing good, too. He doing good. Yeah, he doing he, real good. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he ain't really doing really as good. good as Osteen, but he's doing pretty good. Oh shit, old scene is really good. You know, <laughs> you know boy, fire. yeah. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. It's it's a thank God that TD Jakes ain't small framed and built up and nice looking because he really had people going in circles. People feed into that when you when you got up when you're looking good, people just start believing you for no for no for nothing. All right, judge, you can't judge nobody. Yeah, All right, what is what is Tyree? If you if you want to answer this, what is judging? Maybe this is a time where, 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 where he. Where, you know what, Tyree? What we do is we allow you to call in. Let's let's uh, keep that in the back of your head. I want to talk about one more thing, and then we might allow you to call in. So make sure you call in. I want to talk. We can talk about that about the judging, the whole judging thing, because a lot of people I think they need to really hear this. Um, let's skip. Let's skip over uh, Merlin. Did you ever find any uh, anything on on TD Jakes uh, and his racism? I did not. I did not find actual audio of him before the show started, um, <clears throat> as I would love to, uh, because I know I've heard it, but I cannot find the uh, audio. Yeah, I was I was gonna look it up, and I apologize. I was like drained, man. Like I couldn't even explain it, but for some reason I'm feeling better. I'm drinking some vegetables. Zzz, put them in that blender and boom. I'm feeling a whole lot better now. Um, so, so since we don't have the the evidence, I don't want to I don't want to get into that because we don't we like to have receipts for what we got. But um, just know and believe that. Just look it up and you can see it. But I don't want to get get into speaking too much about it. Uh, where was the guy with the uh, that wanted to call in? I think he Tyree. He asked, Tyree, we would love for you to give us a call, brother. Let's put the number up here, and um, hopefully you can call us. Is the phone hooked up? Yeah. Give us a call, man. Um, or if anybody have any comments, but I really do want to hear from him because I want to talk about this judging thing. Uh 491 9687 one 491 9687 
please call in with any questions or concerns. But if we ask you a question, we're going to ask you to answer the question, especially yeah. if you're yeah. um, trying to go against something that we said or made like we was wrong. And that's fine if you do, but have your reason. And then, you know what, maybe, hey, maybe you can say something, make us say, well, you know, you know, okay. But you got to start with the question because we're not finna like start running people off like we did last time. I think he took like when that guy came on, what a hundred people left, mm-hmm. a whole hundred people left because it was it was and it was terrible and it was stupid. So we can't we can't get into those uh, conversations no more. Um, let me see. There are so many. What did he say? They they are so many many. Wait, they are so many giving God a bad name. Hell is waiting on them all. Uh, we ain't allowed to call out the fruits. We, I can't. We, what are you saying, Merlin? We will show themselves as sending spirits to try the spirit. Oh, you try the spirit. You have to try the spirit. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah. you do. You know, you can, you can, you can sense it. Oh yeah, you can sense oh, it. Yeah. It ain't judging. You can sense it. Yeah, and God give us that. He gives us that as one of our defense mechanism. We need to know these things. You walk in the room, boom. I mean, I could walk in the room sometime and catch it. Right off the top, all kind of stuff. Gay, he want to kill somebody. You know, it's just it's just crazy, especially when your kids around. You have this this discernment, and that's not judging. That is not judging. Because if you really think about it, if you tell somebody, if you say to somebody, "Well, you shouldn't be judging," and say, "Okay, so what what are you doing? You're judging me now for judging." So understand, that's not judging, bro. Because I know something or can discern something or pick up on something, that don't mean I'm judging. Because I know that that goes against the word of God, that does not mean I'm judging. That doesn't mean I know that that's, that goes against the word of God. I don't know how that's called judging. If I judge you, I have to resent you. Resentment hmm. is judging. You know, when I want to send you to hell, I don't have the authority to do that. That's judging. Remember, judgment day, that's God, not me. Right. I can't tell you if you're going to hell or not. That's on you. That's between you and God. Only thing I can do is point in the right direction as I'm being allowed to be pointed in the right direction. Uh, where we at? Where we is at? that somebody? Nope. I thought you're going to put, put the link in. Uh, yeah, let's do it. If they want to come in, I walk them in. All right. So they're going to link if somebody want to join. And um, if somebody want to join in, somebody said, no shower. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I jumped I jumped out of the shower and uh, and forgot to put on some deodorant. Ew. Ew. Who does that? Me. <laughs> Cleveland Brown, what's happening, brother? Did, uh, did the person said they were calling in? Did uh, Tyree say he was calling in? I haven't seen him again since there. I don't since know. Since that statement. Uh, he didn't. Um, I think he no, just but, came and said it. That's it. Yeah, but but Terry, we don't want to jump on you. We really want to um talk to you. What about yeah, Creflo Dollar? Doesn't name Creflo? What's his name? Creflo? I don't know. But... Yeah, I don't know. He he wanted them. Uh <laughs> Adriana said she felt like an old woman here. So I see that that he don't he he's not gonna call in. No, probably not. Yeah. Any comments? Let me see. Let's read some comments. Yeah, I've been fighting the school. What y'all doing? Y'all talking about some other stuff. Talk about what we're talking about. A prophet stated a couple months ago that if T.D. Jakes didn't repent, God would take him out. Yeah, I don't know about that. I can't touch that. Uh, that might be. That's different. Uh, I don't know what God going to do with T.D. Jakes. Uh, people judge all the time, but never hear anyone complain when the judgment is in their favor. Only when it's against. Uh, Jesse. Jesse? Who is Jesse? Who is Jesse? I don't know. Jesse who? Jesse, Jesse. Jesse Jackson? <laughs> you mean Jerry? The Jerry. 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 Oh. Jerry. Let's go, Jerry. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Let's go, Jerry. Jerry Maddox. <laughs> Jerry threatened me, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry, Jerry told me that she going I'm gonna see her in person. And then <laughs> next week, the Black Democratic Caucus is gonna show up at my doorstep. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. In the mountain of Caucasus. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. Jerry, Patrick, <laughs> you'll find very few people that's willing to, to show up at my doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not the toughest guy in the world at all. We have somebody in the back room. But please don't show up to the doorstep with that rah-rah. That's my daughter's name. <clears throat> hey. Oh, we tried uh, to cook him in. It didn't work. I can okay. hear. 
Oh, you need audio. Maya. Oh, it's Maya. Mia. Hello. Okay, I should have knew that. I got a cousin named Mia. Mia. <laughs> is, is that you? Hello from Australia. Hello. Oh, you, Australia. I love Down the accent. Down under. I love the accent, uh, Mia. What is on your mind? Well, just about the subject that you've been talking about this morning. Okay. Hey, do me a favor. You got to talk to, you got to, whatever, whatever device you're listening on, don't listen to us there. Only listen through the telephone because there's a time delay. Oh, hang on. Okay. How do I do that? <clears throat> Not sure how I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, you got to do is turn, turn the volume down on it. Like, wh what are you watching it on? Um, on my phone. Is that better? Yes, yeah, better. Can, can you, what, well, can you hear me in real time? Is that better now? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so when I say one, two, three, you say it right after me, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we, okay we're on the same time. All right, what's on your mind? Uh, just the subject matter that you's, uh, you guys are talking about at the moment, <clears throat> which is a pretty painful one for me. My f uh, now 21-year-old was raped in 2015, and that was my son's disabled. What happened there? She got kicked out? No. Oh, it just left, didn't it? Yeah, she just left. What happened? Yeah, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh Mia, call back. Yeah, call call back. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Um, her son she was just disappeared. Yeah, it just went up went out of nowhere. Call, call back, jump, jump back on, uh, and, and we'll put you we'll put you right back on. Um, could have been a, a battery connection on her end or whatever. So she was saying that her son was raped at 15, I think, or did she say 2015? In 2015. In 2015. He's 21, so that's pretty close to right, yeah. Okay, yeah, and so uh, he's disabled. So <clears throat> that is the uh, the, the kind of thing that, that proves to you that we got to stop this homosexuality and stop condoning it and speak out against it. Because, listen, do you think, do you think for one minute that if – I was to teach my kids that at an early age that they wouldn't grow up believing that. Hmm. And they would think you was crazy for trying to tell them any different. It would, it would take for God to come in and change their hearts. You know what I'm saying? Because, because that's what they've been taught and, and they listen to their parents and they, and they pay attention to their surroundings. So if you teach that stuff, then it's, it's going to be that more than likely. You know what it I'm saying? It's why so, they want to get to, to, to the kids. It is why they want to give it to the children first. It's why they complain when parents say, don't bring anything sexual into my kindergarten kid's life. That's right. We don't we don't need them to think anything along those lines. Kids don't, they don't, they don't think that way. Right. There's no need to put that type of water on their sponge. It's not needed. But you want to because you want them by the time they get to a reasoning age to pick your way. That's what you yeah. want. That's what you want. Hold on, that's an interesting. What? Put it up. Put it up. It's a little off the topic, but we can. No, it's up. not. I can make it part of the topic. Watch me. Okay, have at it. No, go ahead. Jesus Ben Nazareth was described in Lamentations four seven eight. My visage, face blacker than coal. No one cares about what race Jesus was. It doesn't yeah, matter. Right. That was my answer. There, there you go. Yeah. I, I don't know why you think you felt the need that that was necessary to say, but it, it don't matter. Uh, Go ahead. Okay, Maya, we, uh, you back? I'm back. I mean, I'm sorry. Is this, Mia, Mia, is, Mia. Mia. is this working okay now? Yeah, you sound amazing. Okay. I got my headset. <laughs> you actually sound like a singer. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. We listen, darling. Uh, I'm not sure when it cut off. Earlier, uh, your, so. your child was, uh, was uh, molested. Abused. Yeah. Yeah, he was molested. Um, and it just changed our world, absolutely changed our world. Um, <clears throat> this organization was heavily promoted as um, <clears throat> a place for, of safety and also masquerading as a religious organization. Now, for the last six years, I've been trying to take this organization down and I am actually on a watch list here in Australia at the moment as a targeted individual for doing what I do. But I know I'm doing the right thing. So when people say 
that being gay is okay. Okay, just keep it to yourself, but don't involve the children. It is astounding to me how many places hire gay people to look after kids. It it is. Um, and now now they making you hire them, or they or they trying. You know what I'm saying? They oh, here to... in Australia, the the agenda here is very clear. It's it's made very clear. It's shoved down our throats every single day, every single minute of every single day here in Australia. Wow. Wow, that's deep. Um, and so how how is your son doing now? I mean, I know it is oh he's doing he's doing a lot better. I mean, like I said, I'm a targeted individual. I know a lot of people might find that hard to believe. Um I've had my tires slashed, I've had to move. Um, I've had police harass me. But because I know the constitution of Australia, we do have a constitution here, believe it or not. A lot of Australians don't even know that. Um, I'll keep fighting. I yeah. haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, that is it's crazy. So and and, and it's it is very believable. I believe that people on this platform will believe you because we understand that this stuff is real. And when you're coming against it, they, of course they got a target on you because it's a lot more people involved that that don't want to be exposed. And what you know how it works. Once you catch one person, uh, then they start telling, and then them mm -hmm. people start telling, and then you end up breaking down a whole camp. And so they want to they want to put the fear in you to keep you from coming out with it because they know it's some people that's that's involved in it and they don't want to be exposed. So that's I mean, well, that's, the people that are involved in it here is the government and the police. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Them, so them, I've them. gone up. I've I've gone up against the police. I have. They write on my house wall. You know that we're always watching. If I call them, if I've had to call the police for something, they said, "You know, we're not going to help you." Wow. Because I've taken them to court. Wow. In the state that I am in. Wow. You know That's what you're great. saying. What you're saying um, is addressed in in uh, Mark Matthew five. It says, "Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward." In the same way they persecuted the prophets before you. Mm. You know that it, it's not evil cannot stand good. And it does everything in its power to silence good. So you know you're on the right track when evil is coming at you that way. Mm. But for so many people, it's very hard for them to understand. Like, I don't hate, look, I dislike a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I don't, um, you know, there's no sort of like people, I'm not a people person. I never have been. But, um, I don't hate these people, but I hate what they do, what they represent. Right. right. Because they are hiding something that is huge. I'm not sure how much of American people understand just what role Australia plays in the trafficking of children around the world. We are like the gateway to everywhere. It's been, it's, it's everywhere. It's like we have at the moment, our prime minister is, we have a thing called a parliamentary pedophile suppression order, which is been given by a former prime minister. Wow. 90 years they've closed this thing and we've got politicians on there. We've got judges on there. So do, do you know anything about the law where if you pray for someone in Australia, you can be arrested? Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, everything, look, the, these people that are saying that oh, Australia is fine at the moment, they need to really, they they need a wake up call. I don't I don't know what the wake up call is, to just how corrupt we are here and what all the rights and the freedoms that have been been taken away and dismantled. But like I've said to a lot of my American friends, you, you think it's not going to happen there in America? Oh it yeah, is. on the way. Yeah, it, it's happening. Yeah, it's, it, it's they'll coming. go after the blue states first, mm -hmm. and after that. What are the rest of the people going to do? Well, they're already going after them, and and, and it's working exactly. They, yeah, so yeah, so we we appreciate you calling in, and we, and we uh send our prayers out for a real prayers from real from real. Thank Christian you, thank people, you. Okay, they're and, very much needed. Thank all right. You. And by the way, Marlon, mm -hmm. can't wait for woke pop. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? <laughs> what you say? Say it again for Courtney here. <laughs> 
I just told Marlon that I can't wait wait for Woke Park. Woke Park. Woke Remember Park. that video I told you I was making, Corey? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's waiting for it to drop, man. Everybody's waiting for oh it to drop. Oh my god! Hey, All I right. put it up. On, I put it up on my backup account. Okay, it's at least yeah, a, the preview you already. So yeah. I was on the I was on the chat this morning. Yeah, check it out. I put up I put up the precursor. Oh, excellent. Yeah, go check it out. We'll All do. Right, Thanks for calling in. Thanks a lot. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the the uh the, the the accent got me. Mm-hmm. I love the accents. I love that. But um, yeah. Um, anybody else? Anybody else wanted to call? Somebody did call. Well, back Parker, now man. is the time to call back. Go ahead. Why are you switching on me? I did that. Yeah, you did. I did. Don't lie to me. Leviticus eighteen twenty two says, "Do not lie with the man." Let me put that up. Do not lie with the man as, as one lie with the woman. Woman, that is detestable. In other words, homosexuality. <laughs> homo- <laughs> I like how you put that. In other words, in other words, <laughs> what what it mean is. So another what I'm trying to tell you is, just in case you understand what that said, uh, homosexuality is an abomination. There should be no confusion about this subject. Do Cleavon. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Uh, I think that when people when people go out of their way to support it, man, it's simply because, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but it's simply because they're homosexuals. And, and they don't, like Marlon said earlier, they don't want to speak out against it because they know that deep down inside. Anytime I hear somebody start saying, well, man, that's their choice and all this. And they should, listen, man, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. No matter how you draw it up, that is nasty. <laughs> Trifling. Yeah, I said it. Trifling. And how could you, man? Yeah, thank you, sir, <laughs> for putting that up there. Cleveland, hometown, hometown, South Bend, Indiana. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so um, I'm trying to get through all these uh, through all these uh, okay. Here go here go a question. I don't know what it says yet. What do you think? What people would call you homophobic? Okay, good question. Okay. That you guys have an irrational fear of homosexuals. <laughs> Are your concerns irrational? <laughs> Look, you know when you go downstairs in the basement at nighttime to lock up the house, uh-huh. and you flip the light off, and the the lights like on the other side of the room, and you got to get to the stairs. You know how most people take off running after they take the light because they're afraid of the dark. <laughs> Nobody has that emotion towards gay people. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, no one is afraid of gay people. Oh, it's not. No, there's no such thing as a rational fear of homosexuals. Yeah, if if I was scared of homosexuals, I would probably okay. Let me explain something to you. Come on, man. I'm okay, so I'm typically, um, you can call it scary if you want to. Uh, if I was scared of gay people, I would probably be attacking them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't deal with like if I if I'm scared of something, the worst thing you can do for me is make me scared. I don't want to be scared, um, because I go in attack mode. But no, we're not scared of homosexuals. Uh, we hate homosexuality, so we speak against it. That does not make us homophobic. That word is kind of—I ain't no disrespect, but that word is kind of dumb. Sense. It's it kind of dumb sense. to me. Yeah. What your name is and where you from, huh? Yeah. Excuse ah, me. This is Mrs. Brown. I can't hear you. Are Uh-oh. you on speakerphone? No. I yeah. am on speakerphone. Get on the speakerphone, wifey. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> you always trick me and call it. I don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, no, my, my accent kind of messed up because of this COVID crap. Well, hey, I, what? I think I'm getting used to the accent. I'm, I'm working on it because I hear... get there. I just got to get mad more so he can understand it when I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does get pronounced when he's mad. It does. <laughs> yeah, my, my friend like to pick with him. Remember? Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, what's, mm-hmm. what's the name, Marlon? Um, uh, student loan, student loan, yeah, <laughs> Captain Student Loan. Go, go ahead, wifey. What do you got to say? I think that you guys love to just to the hornet's nest, but I appreciate the fact that you all are willing to say the things that most of the people who have huge platforms are afraid to say. They have no courage, they don't have a backbone, and they won't call evil evil, they try to dress it up as good. So it's either good or it's God, period. Yeah. And if it's not God, it's no matter it how you good. paint it, 
It ain't good. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't good. <laughs> it's not gonna get you where you wanna be. It's one of the two. Your intention <laughs> is to go to hell. So, um, I'm just glad you guys are bold and brave enough to see it. It's not about hating people and it's not about judging them. It's about caring enough to say, "Hey, if you continue with this thing, this is what's gonna happen." Yeah. God does not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, despite how much they try to um, mold him into being um, what they want him to be to fit their lifestyle and their choices. That will never change. It will never happen. It will never work. Yes. Um, so it's a deep illusion they're living under. And I, and all this pedophilia and all these top politicians and leaders and celebrities, all these guys who are involved in this thing, they're just pushing as hard as they can to legalize pedophilia so that when the when the whole thing gets exposed, they won't be prosecuted. They need to be nailed nailed to the wall because that's evil. And I don't yeah. care what you see. Kids cannot choose yeah. that lifestyle. And parents who push their shit on them need to be whipped. Yep. Because you're doing more harm to your kids and even outsiders. And for me, that does not show love at all. You see, so anyways, you see that might sound kind of judgy. Right. No, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. <laughs> that might sound uh, kind of judgy. Wait, but wait, wait. Somebody, Spring wants to know how you're doing. People worried about you. Man, oh my gosh. My <laughs> bed has become my best friend, yo. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Everything hurts. But you're um, getting better. But I'm getting better. I could talk today. Yesterday, I couldn't. Okay. Yesterday, I was groaning and moaning and a total whim. Total okay. whim. And I'm well, going to own it. Well, well we, <laughs> we, 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 need, we need you to get better so Marla can talk to me. <laughs> Every time I call you, I got to go. And then he's like, <laughs> then he'd be like, turn with it. Like, look, dude, quit calling me. <laughs> Yo, Corey, I'm just taking back my time you've been taking before, man. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we hope you get better. God I'm bless just, you. <laughs> I'm just, re, I'm just reclaiming my territory. That's all. <laughs> all right, have Thanks a good one, guys. All right, <laughs> Bye. that's too funny. Um, what makes this LGBT not good is your is your boasting about sin in front of God. Um, Wes, we would be glad to uh, answer your question. That's a really, really, really good. Um, Really good question, man. Uh, re- very um, interesting question that you would ask. So if you would like, just give us a call. Um, oh, you say hi, women. You're boasting about sin. What would you try? I think it's better if you call, brother. Just give us a call, and that way we can have some uh, some dialogue about it. Okay, we got to let this one in. You let him in? We got to let this guy in. Jay Lee, what's up, man? How you feeling? Doing quite well, gentlemen. All right. I think I saw you earlier uh, or before yeah. on the live with Merlin. This I didn't really my mod. Think. This was my mod. This is my boy right here. That's what's up. So what's on your mind, brother? Um, you know, it's just one of those things to where it's just one of those things to where I think um, you guys haven't even delved into T.D. Jakes' theology. That's That, to me, is even, even something I think that nobody tends to know. Mm. Enlightened. Delve. Delve for so, us, buddy. So he's not a classical, he doesn't have really much of a classical theology, to be honest. He doesn't believe the the Trinity, which is baseline evangelical theological presupposition. Yeah, I know that. I knew that. That's like primary. I knew that. What what, what don't he what don't he what exactly don't he believe about it? He doesn't necessarily believe that Jesus is um or is it the holy spirit I, th- I think he's more of those one of those jesus only guys where jesus is father son and spirit kind of a thing okay oh okay yeah i got you so i mean that's just that's just <laughs> principally false in terms of anything and in terms of you know proper biblical theology that doesn't even compute properly yeah <laughs> so. T.D. Jakes is a, um, listen, he's a, he's an extreme opportunist and he used emotions and uh, poverty to uh, to push his agenda. Um, he sells hope. He's a good talker. Um, he makes like them that. think that they can. Uh, I like that. He sells hope. 
Yeah, he sell hope. That's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He sell hope, and 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 he's selling it good, and he and he's selling it to millions of people, and people are buying into it. Uh, that's my biggest biggest issue with him. But the, what's sad about it is you're taking these people down a dark road, and you know it, but mm, you don't yeah. care. Right. And that's to me. That's the that's the, the worst <clears> part <throat> because some of these people they really they are really convinced that that this man is ordained by God. Um, that's why with me, to be honest with you, all that going to school and and to all that stuff, man, it's it's not. I don't I don't see how it's. I'm not. I don't speak against it. But I just don't see how it's absolutely necessary in order for you to be a uh, um, a, t- a teacher of the word. I don't get that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think saying? today I think today what they use it for is to teach you how to have a run a church and make money. I honestly yeah. believe that's what most of it is about now. If you can talk eloquently, you know, make people believe what you're saying because of how you say it, and we've seen lots of that in today's political spectrum. Look at Barack mm-hmm. Obama. I don't. You don't have to. Nothing you say has to make sense. It just has to sound like you know how to make sense. Yeah. You could be talking the most asinine thing, but if you can make that asinine thing sound really good, people you know, will eat it up. You know what I do? You know what I do to people all the time, Marlon. I would talk to people and not let them know what I know. So that's the only way for you to know how far they go. So you act like you don't know, and you let them talk and talk and talk because what what people do is they they try to depict what you know and what you don't know during the conversation Mm -hmm. and when they figure out that you don't know something they start saying something that don't make that's not true and you're not going to contest it because you don't know yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so you so and actually what it does is it flips brown on you and then you be the one sitting there feeling like you dumb something like (laughs) oh yeah oh Okay. I think okay. Jay Lee and I are all too familiar with that tactic. <laughs> <laughs> I think of all the people that I've encountered on TikTok and stuff, that's where I know Jay Lee from, by the way, is that we have almost the same amount of accounts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we oh, both so. we both talk the same thing and we both get knocked out of the, out of the park. And I you think have me beat by two. Yeah, I, I do. I have a I think I'm only behind Misfit at this point. But right, yeah. um the uh, the bigger thing for me with TD is this, and Corey, you alluded to it earlier, um, that he knows how to say what he wants to say to make you believe that what he's saying is what you believe. Like he can, he's a good fisher. He he can reel you in by saying something close enough to what you believe, and put just a tad of falsehood in on it to make you change your direction he is immaculate at that like take for instance that that statement he made well you know i i can't really talk about that but if you find a church that agrees with you which means that sounds good now 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 he puts it in the realm of i can't hate you and the church shouldn't hate you so here just find a church that believes you I, I, every church has the right to believe what they want, and so it's okay. That way, he doesn't say outright, "I denounce homosexuality." He doesn't say outright, "I embrace homosexuality." He just leaves it in your court. But at the same time, you know what he's trying to say. Yeah. Do do uh, what is his stance on uh, abortion? I think he's pro-abortion. I wouldn't doubt it. If it gets if it gets busting the seats, and he's going to he's going to play on the emotions. He's not going to preach truth. He's going to poke at your feelings and 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 get you to get you to believe that you know he's not necessarily for it but he's not necessarily against it and that's yeah. this that's the shift that's the uh the wordplay that a lot of these modern day you know preachers preach and i would put him in the realm of one of those prosperity gospel preachers too. that's exactly what he is yeah yeah you got that right yeah that's he's exactly a, he's, a, he's off the chain god will bless you if you plant your seed seed being the the money <laughs> <laughs> that's their verbiage guys that's the verbiage of a lot of these prosperity gospel preachers it's Give me plant your seed. seed in my pocket plant your seed and god will bless you <laughs> yeah melanie we got it we got that role uh that's something that we, me and Marlon are gonna talk about we might want to do a, a show on that we'll probably get to that where's west at i believe i believe jesus was god uh if he wasn't god would have hidden Jesus' bones like he did Moses so that people wouldn't worship him. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I mean, trying to figure that one out for a minute. That's kind of... Well, I, mean, I, 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 I think I know what he's talking about. 
If Jesus I, wasn't God, there wouldn't have been bones for people to dig up to, to venerate and worship. Like they're doing with the, the with that, that cloth thing or whatever. Oh, yeah. I that's some different know. stuff. That's yeah, a, that's, it is. But the fact that it has this Christological... Uh, See, that's that, what I'm saying. All this, all this going to school garbage. <laughs> Like, dude, get out the schools, man. It's not even that. It's completely off topic. And this is part. Okay, I'll I'll give you my take on that statement because he tried earlier. You you did you did indeed try, Wes. He tried earlier. This conversation is about a very specific man leading a very specific group of people to hell. And I have a suspicion that you might like the guy because mm. there's no reason for you to bring all of that into what we talking about. There's a very specific thing that T.D. Jakes is doing. And I, if judging from what that person said in his memoir about T.D. And based on how T.D. approaches the topic we're talking about, I know that people don't want to smear the man's name. You don't. You, you like you like the fact that, and first of all, he's a black man, right? You can't talk bad about black men or single right. black women. Yeah, no, that's, especially you know, the women. That's a sin. There are three people you can't talk about in America. Black men, single black women, and Mohammed. You can't talk about none of them people. You, you hose all the way if you do that. And, and Tupac. <laughs> and, and Tupac. You can't talk about Tupac. Unless you're Jada Smith. Then you can talk about Tupac. But I digress. Wow. I, di yeah, wow. I, had to that in there. I digress. My point is this. This man, this black gay man, because I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm really, I 100% I believe that T.D. Jakes is, is gay. And I think he hides it behind his marriage. And I think mm. he does deal with little boys as well. That's me. I'm telling you, based on what that man said, and he hasn't come out to refute what this young man said. Now, this man mm. said this happened to him when he was younger. And mm. he had many people that he did this to. Okay. If that was going around, I, I would think you'd say something. I would think. So, in my estimation... People don't want to smear his name, dirty his face. But I'm going to tell you now, there is no reason for me to believe that T.D. Jakes is not. None. I'm, I'm just saying none. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence he presented is strong. Yeah. He's busy flapping his hands around. It gets funnier the more we watch man. it. Oh man. <laughs> Listen to me, man. I want to tell you this, Merlin. I was um when I was editing that video, and um it was okay, man, until I until I ate me some soup, right? <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it, and then he came on and did that, man. I was crying. I could not stop laughing, man. I almost fell out my chair, man. <laughs> <laughs> that that is crazy. <laughs> Did you see how his his face? Oh, I gotta play one time. Look at his face. Watch his face, though. He's busy flapping his hands around. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh boy! Wow. <laughs> Everybody say, don't be flapping without your deal. I, I, I found it. I, I put someone right before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, oh, Tina missed it. Tina, you want to see it again one more time? <laughs> I don't mind playing it again. Anymore. If you ask for it, I'll give it to you. Let me get it back. <laughs> He's busy flapping his hands around. <laughs> yeah, but he was, he was, he called T.D. Jakes out. He said, why won't he say nothing? Why won't he say nothing? That's um, uh, Reverend, what's his name? G G Gino Jennings. Mm -hmm. Gino Jennings. I like him so far. Um, I've been listening to some of his stuff. He he called he bold. He called people out. Uh, he jumped on what you call it? What's that rapper? Uh, Lil Nas X. I didn't get to watch. Oh it. yeah. Oh man. He he. Whew. Yeah. If you I'm think saying, we went bad, oh my, oh my lord. Okay, Wes. Wait, Wes. 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 Going? Wes. Wes still here? Listen, you got to call in, bro. Yeah, if call wanna, in, Wes. If you want to talk about this stuff, it's <clears throat> easier to call in. Don't don't um don't be afraid to call in, brother. We we here for you. We need you to call in. The number again is 1-800-491-9687. It's okay to call. We just want to have some dialogue 
um, God, <clears throat> Marlon, stop. Oh, my side hurts. Sorry, I was uh, remembering. See. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Merlin. All right. So that's that's that. Um, yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for coming on, Jay Lee. We appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Thank you, gentlemen. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, that's what's up, man. Man, uh, it's it's a it's a crazy deal. It's a crazy here's the problem with, with with things, Wes. I want I want to be able to understand exactly what you're saying. Text has a hard time conveying messages sometimes. Okay. We understand that, which is why we encourage people to call. Or come on, because there's no better way to transfer your your, your information than verbally. Then, then with your mouth. <laughs> yeah. or, or you can just uh, do like what other people do. In, uh, if you want to, you can do like what other people do and... Say it with your chest! <laughs> you could do that. So come on and uh, and do just that. Say it with... With your chest. No, I, I would really, I would really want to have a um a conversation because he, he got a lot of stuff he want to say, but I, I get it. Sometimes you don't want to maybe feel a little intimidated to call in. I understand that, but you don't have to be intimidated, bro. Just call in. It's just really simple. You know what I'm saying? We can get down to it. He reminds me of Eddie Murphy. He do. <laughs> he do. The scripture says to work out your uh your see own soul salvation with fear and trembling. TD. Uh, uh, let me see. What did Jake's do? You got to go back and watch the um, you got to go back and watch the video, check it out. We talked about it. We, we've we been on here for like nothing, an hour and he a half. Is nothing that's um, his problem. He ain't done nothing in the beginning. Okay, nope, Wes, we're not even reading nothing else. You gotta, you gotta call in. Uh, yeah, man, if you um, if you want to call in, call in. If you don't, you might as well stop commenting because you're not, you're not getting nowhere. Um, just make sure you don't go too far because we don't want to have to block you. But we really would like you to call in. Uh Farrakhan needs Farrakhan. Oh God, man. It it'll take that's a, that is a whole that's a two part series right there. Yeah, that's a whole thing that um we got to go all the way back to Muhammad Ali and stuff with that stuff. I mean, come God on, me, man. I mean, he got people so gone, Malcolm man. X and, you know, he is a um <clears throat> I'm gonna say this in short and I don't, and we can get into it a later time, but to me, he's a crutch. He's just a crutch for angry black people to lean on because they only come up with the stuff he's saying once that when they get mad at when they currently mad at white people uh, it's the same thing uh, people go to prison and you know i'm talking about i'm talking about us black folk go to prison first thing i'm a muslim now and you're a muslim because you're mad at the white judge for sending you to prison after you done committed the crime four or five times because they, they typically give you chances <laughs> <laughs> they do <laughs> They do. He's like, well, five times. Listen, listen, Marlon, I can speak on it firsthand. Um, the judge gave me a chance. He was finna send me to prison. Bruh. And he stopped and didn't. So, I, you know, what am I supposed to do? Call the man a racist? The man didn't send me to prison. That's, I mean, and, and listen, he had he had sentenced me with his mouth and was finna hit the, hit the gaffle and he dropped it. He said, I can't do it. But that's the power of God. But see, he didn't, see, the thing is we, we typically get multiple chances. Um, and then we get locked up. Then we're mad at white people. And then we become Muslims because because hate is a bigger attraction for people that hate than love. I'm about God, to say that. Bro. He's still going at it. My 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 what Muhammad? Oh Muhammad Ali versus Kamala, who dropped the most Yo, I'm not getting involved in that. Come on, <laughs> Kamalia. <yeah. laughs> of course. How could how could Muhammad Ali? Oh my dare? God, bro! What is going on? With you? You how are, could? You ain't sorry. You are not sorry. Stop lying. You are not sorry. Who? Melanie, you know oh. you're not sorry for that. You are not sorry. You a liar, and you need to stop <laughs> lying right now. God don't Quit like lying. a liar. <laughs> Quit Hit the like button. That's what y'all do. Hit that like button. We should be up there. We should at least be the 200, 200 likes. Y'all should be giving us about a thousand of mugs. Give us 200 likes real quick. Bruh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this lady say who dropped the most. Like, come Yo, on, it, man. It got me reading all the comments now. 
man, what is up, West? What is what is West? Uh, what they call it? A uh, heap like hero is right. I don't know, uh, but if, as long as you start thinking Jesus is black and that matters, then I might start thinking you might be a <laughs> an H uh, a BHI. <laughs> What's that? A black Hebrew Israelite. Oh. BHI. That's my new name for him. BHIs. BHI. Oh, Give me his guys had lots of sex with my high school friends. Oh, who did that? Uh oh. Who? Who? TD? Oh God. No. 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 You should call in, Donna. I think you're lying. No, she's not. One eight hundred four nine one nine six eight seven. The truth. Um. Let me see. I want to ask you a question about the Muslims yes. because I dated yes. a Muslim and I'm white. What do you want to know? I don't know much about Muslims. Um, <laughs> no, he's not gonna call. We've already we've already figured out that he's not gonna call. He everybody calling for everybody calling for Jerry. Jerry ain't here. Jerry too busy making phone you calls. A, you got a hashtag. Caucus. Listen, I'm telling y'all how to get her here. <clears throat> hashtag. Let's go, Jerry. let's go, Jerry. Let's go, Jerry. Yeah, and she'll pop up. She probably watching because she already getting her crew together to come. Let's to my go, Jerry. <laughs> let's go, Jerry. Jerry, come in if you call her. She don't she like the candy man, she, <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> Jerry. She said, Jerry, Jerry. She said, just know that I'm not that far away. I'm like, okay, you know, just know that I don't do tough. Now, I'm telling you now, in other words, I uh, I eliminate problems and issues fast because I'm scared of them. So just know what you're dealing with. It's the uh, only way for us to live if God has mercy on us. I mean, I don't know how else he gonna how is he gonna live if God don't have mercy on you. Hey. Uh, uh well you're huh? but thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the blessing. Um what we uh, I don't know, God should have mercy on us for some reason. I, uh, if you want to know the difference between Islam's beliefs, I do. Uh <laughs> I actually do, but I'm not into the what I'm telling you is I'm not into the islam thing i'm not into that i'm not yeah. interested in it it's just it's nothing to me that's what whoever believed that that's what they believe and that's their thing um i do know that um outside of a few things one of the one of the biggest things for me is <clears throat> is um islam they do not condone um uh, homosexuality and that's a good thing all right hello what's your name where are you from <clears throat> um donna brown indiana Donna Brown, Indiana. What's up? How you doing? What part of Indiana are you from? Um, Monster. But I grew up in South Shore over there with Farrakhan. Oh, he, he grew up in Indiana? No, no. I, I'm telling you where I grew up. I grew up in South Shore in Chicago. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, you know where Farrakhan School is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as we was growing up, it was basically, oh, yeah, yeah, he could really talk good. You know, he could, if he was marijuana, he'll get you high before you even smoke him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, just, look at the, just look at the weed and get high. No, his conversation was strong enough that if, if he was marijuana, he'd get us high before we smoke it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so what he, what he basically did is, um, I was a I was a chicken. I was a chicken. All the pretty girls, he would have little parties, and two of them did get pregnant. Um, one of the parents sent them down south somewhere. The other one, you know, she kind of stayed around. I don't know what really, really happened at the end, but they would um it was one girl who would try to get us to come to their affair. So I do know for a fact that Farrakhan um <laughs> Him and his crew definitely was messing around with the teenagers. Um, I, I'm I'm not better than them. I was just a chicken. I never had sex in a car. I feel like I might have missed out because <laughs> I was the chicken that was you. I didn't I didn't want the police saying and, and, and get your bra from over there. Okay, so I ain't better than nobody. I ain't judging nobody. I would have been a a stripper because some of them turned out to be that. But I was a I was a chicken. <clears throat> Hey, I, I'm a chicken okay, too. So I, I don't think I'm better than nobody. I don't think none of that. Okay, hey, you, but, was, you was a yeah. chicken. You was a chicken, not a chicken um, head. Right, it's a difference. But no, I, I, no, I was a chicken because I didn't know no better, know right. the difference. Okay, but I, I, I was a chicken, and it was just really kind of sad. Um, 
Muhammad Ali, he would be there, you know, because they would come back and tell us. And so and so. And, you know, they kept on telling me how many uh, material things I could get. And they are really <laughs> like, they are really like, it was, I, I, I was a chicken. I lied a few times because of peer pressure. Okay, I'll go. Okay, I'll go. Then I would be, my mother wouldn't let me come out. I had to babysit. I, I was th- that kind of chicken. Ah, so, so did, was, did, any, did any of this stuff ever come out at all? No, no. The parents was pissed off, of course, but really a lot of the parents didn't know except for the two girls who got pregnant because they told where they was hanging out at. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> yeah, we, we had to... Um, remember, remember he had a house over in um, South Shore also. Yeah, I don't I don't know much about Fair Can, but we really appreciate it. And you know, I got you. Uh, I got your name. I'm a, um I'm I'm gonna message you and see if we can talk more about that in, in uh in private and see if we can do it that. <clears throat> okay, know. and okay. I'm I'm still kind of new at this, so I had to come off the show completely to use the phone. I'm still trying to learn how to navigate. Uh, we'll no problem. Out. We'll work with it. We really appreciate it. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, bye bye. Bye. Yeah, fair can. We'd do a whole different show on fair. We can. might even do a fair cup. We never know. <clears throat> yeah, we had to. That's a whole um, fair mug. Yeah, that's a whole nother uh, show. A big one. A big show. And I wouldn't <laughs> doubt if there was some influence because of the black aspect that TD Jakes is carrying on. Okay, I have no doubt because they all have the same mantra and I think they all <clears throat> care t- tout the same line. There's no reason why he would consider a church black if he didn't. Just saying, yeah, black fair church, enough. white church, you know. But for, as for TD, as for TD, I will, I, I'll give you my last two cents about TD. Um, if he continues what he's doing, remember that the Bible said the teachers will be judged harsher because they are in a position to lead sheep astray. That's a bad place to be in and be doing what TD is doing. Yeah, absolutely. Hold on, this not, this might be. Let's see. Hello, what's your name? Where are you from? Hey, uh, this is Shadow Law. Yeah. This is who? I'm from um I'm from Cali, but I'm in Kansas. Hello, okay. All right. Can, can you get the, take the background noise out, please? Because it was yeah, right? Oh, okay. Appreciate okay, it. so you know people in the industry are are um are gay. A lot of people in the industry are gay. All the top people on the on the world stage and everything are gay, and it, it's crazy because they always. There's all the stuff that they talk about in the Bible, and people don't really listen to that. And people like in, in different churches. I mean, when I was young, they'll say certain things, and they're like, "Oh, well, you can't talk to God. Uh, you have you're muted, angels, you're muted. and all." Of Hello. Oh no, my go ahead. I, I, I had made a mistake and muted you, but go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, just the world stage people. Period. All these people that's on that's top people, and and they have all this influence and. You know, he's a Mason, all these Masons, all these secret society people, all these so-called Illuminatis, whatever. They always want to take people into, into what they call the, 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 the Satan's lair, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's just it's just tiresome. I'm tired of going through that. I mean, I know we're in our last days for sure, but I used to listen to C. Jackson, and I started uh, finding inconsistencies in his preaching. You know what I'm saying? And that's what really got me off of it. So, you know, I just I just really stopped. Uh, it's just really pay start paying attention because I, I like to study everything I do. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I like y'all brother even doing this. Now I'm, I'm I'm just I'm like kind of nervous to talk to her right now. But it's so it's, this is a real thing though. This is a real thing, and I, it really pisses me off because I have kids, and I know a lot of other people have kids. And you know, by us being who we are, I know we came up in, in, in different different genres of what's what's going on now. And what's going on now is really ridiculous. How they trying to just push stuff on our kids in these schools and everything is just ridiculous. Like you can't tell your kid something, but somebody else can just tell your kid whatever they're supposed to believe it and go with it. That's bull crap hmm. to me. Yeah, it you is. I mean? It is, man. Man, that's amazing, man. It's, it's good to hear from people like you, man, that really uh, get it and understand instead of trying to be uh, so controversial about what the truth is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and it's, right. it's also good to that, man, that, that, that you saw that and pulled it, pulled back from, cause I was there too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you grow right. up thinking these things and believing these things, but come on, what at what point do we say, hey, there's something ain't right about that? How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I'm 46, bro. Okay, okay. I, I, I figured, I said, he must, he got he got some age on him a little bit. You you up there, you almost up there with me. You got, you got a little bit, yeah. you got a little more work to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you know what? I'm going to tell, tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I used to be a, a L.A. City lifeguard, and a lot of kids come back mm-hmm. telling me now, you know, oh, well, you're like a father figure to me. You're the only father figure I had in my life. You taught me things that I wish my parents would have taught me. Only thing I told these kids, you know, because, you know, we, in your inner city pools and stuff like that, I'm the first one that actually took kids that didn't know how to swim, taught them how to swim in 30 minutes. I asked them, do y'all want to be on a swim team? And it was like, well, uh, we don't know how to swim. I'm like, that ain't what I asked you. Right. I said, do you want to learn how to swim? be on a swim team? So I taught them all. I taught 20 kids how to swim within 15 minutes. Took them up to free my pool. Took them how to swim. And, and, um, I'm like Olympic swimmers in one week, and then all my babies came in first and second place and everything. You feel me? Dang, that's what's up. You know, man. so that's the stuff we got to do more. Yeah, you know that, what I'm saying? For real though, where where, where are you at now? In California? No, I'm in Kansas now, man. Oh, I okay. oh. California. California is bugging out. I, I mean, I love it. That's my city, but it's just you know, it's it's too much, man. You know, I have to get out here where where I can just calm down and chill you know what i'm saying it's right. not the same it's being, you know you know you, it's like retirement age you know i'm not that old you say without to me i feel like i'm 50 million years old sometimes <laughs> it's like, you know? I, I, <laughs> you feel know? I feel that i feel that i was like, but I always just told kids I, I told i'm sorry i just told these kids you know things that i wish people would have told me back in the day instead of getting mad at me or or, or telling me or you can't you can't do this or you can't do that or don't don't do this. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Being under the thumb of an adult or a parent or something like that. I just told them what I wish people would have told me. And now they're coming back. I mean, they they you got people that run hood. You got people that run uh, Fortune 500 companies. I got people that didn't even graduate junior high school. And the things that I taught them got them to where they making four figures and taking care of their families and doing everything right. You know what I'm saying? The things that I wish that I was taught. And I wasn't taught none of that. Man, you, you know, know what I'm saying? You so, learned. You know what, man? You should you should um you should send send me a message, and um I want to talk to you about this program I got. Maybe we can we can get it over there where you at too, since you're like dealing with kids. For sure, man. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Make sure you is where, where, where are you watching from? I'm watching from Kansas, uh, Hutchinson, Kansas, right now. No, I'm talking about YouTube or Facebook. Which one? Oh, oh, I'm on YouTube, bro. I'm on YouTube on the PlayStation, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't that old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to work this PlayStation 4. I didn't even, you know, uh, get PlayStation 4 until the 5 came out. You know, I'm one of those. I ain't a bandwagon jumper, you know. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I get it when it's damn near obsolete. So, hey, that's how I go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm a, uh, I, I, sent you, I sent you my email right here. I'm going to put it in the chat. Send me send me an email okay, so sure. we can connect and um I wanna I wanna see if you might okay. be interested in this uh bully prevention program we got. We got some other stuff going on too, but I want you to hit me up. We can check it out, all right? Awesome, bro. Awesome. <clears throat> all right, man. We really it's, appreciate you uh, calling too. Okay, for sure, man. Yeah, y'all too. Y'all y'all stay blessed, man. For sure. All right, for sure. I thanks. appreciate y'all too, y'all brothers too, man. All right, we appreciate you too, brother. All right, thanks, man. Right, for sure. See you later. Yeah. Amazing call. That was that was a good call. That's see them. That's what we talking about right there. We need to start connecting with these people. We gotta we gotta make things happen. Uh, hit the like, hit the like like button. Two twenty one. We doing good. We doing good. Good. Let's we matching. We matching the people to the likes right now, which is nice. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get us up to two fifty. Yeah. West Let's does need Jesus. Up. West needs Jesus by Ed. <laughs> no, he he. West needs something else. And unfortunately. We don't offer the help you need. <laughs> <laughs> it's called psychiatric attention. Yeah, he gonna get he gonna get what he's looking for. <laughs> he ain't gonna call in to right. get it though. He ain't gonna call in to get it. No, nah, no, nah, he ain't gonna call because he he don't he can't he can't stand it. Like he couldn't he couldn't he can't he he's not gonna call in here. I know who I am. Yeah, he's not gonna call in here. Who am you? But uh, yeah, any more questions? Real questions, concerns? It'd be some good ones. Uh, put it in, type it in, type it in, type it in. No, okay, no problem. We understand, we get it. So, I'll we do it must, right this time. huh? I'll do it right this time. You'll do this, you, you'll do it right. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sit back. So, here we go. <clears throat> what you all have been waiting for, Marlon Brown and. <laughs> So, what we heard today about Mr. Jakes is one thing that I think we can all take from it. And that is when you try to appease everybody, you lose truth. Because truth doesn't appeal to everybody and truth doesn't appease. Truth just is, and some will take it and some won't. 
And when you hear truth, you have two options. You can follow it and believe it, or you could ignore it and pay the consequence. People like T.D. Jakes wants to try and ride that line as long as he can to keep everybody giving him something, whether that be attention or money or fame. But what we are called to do is none of the above at all. Either you believe something to your core or you don't. You can't believe it when it is suiting you to get something and then throw it aside. It is a very clear cut case what the Bible says about certain things. When you decide, well, there's a gray area because you want it to be gray, it doesn't make it gray. In case you haven't seen it yet, God's very cut and dry, very black and white. He is very black and white. We like to make him gray because it fits us. He is not a pair of shoes that you can put on and then take it to some cobbler and had them adjusted to your side. That's not how he works. It is not how he works. He is outside of our manipulative ways. And the instant you get that, the better off you will be. Once you ignore that, the worst off you will be. Mr. Jakes is leading people. I can't call him Reverend and I can't call him Bishop and I can't call him Pastor. Mr. Jakes is leading people to a path that will eventually ruin their life. It'll also ruin any chances they have of being in that place with God after things are done. In other words, he's leading people to hell. If you don't start critically thinking past these people's agenda, even if you don't believe me, always weigh what we say against what God said. If it can't be weighed against that, then you don't need to believe anything. For those of you that do like TD Jakes, I want to ask you to do one thing. Listen carefully to what he says and weigh it against what God says. If it doesn't match up, you can't be listening to him. And if you continue to, do it at your own risk. We, as if we call ourselves believers, that is, have to understand one basic thing. He is not a pleaser of people, God that is. And he doesn't just change because we want him to change. He does his own thing. And when he wants something done, he'll do it. He doesn't need us. Muted. Every time. <laughs> the key thing he said is listen to him at your own risk. It's not up to us. We just, hey, we just pointing in the right direction and giving information and being informative. And that's it. That's all we got to offer. Uh, some people just don't have um, an open mind. We say an um, open mouth don't get fed, a closed mouth don't get fed, and a closed brain don't either. So that's that's just what it is. And it ain't much we can do to help certain people. We don't offer the help that everybody needs. But what I do know is that too strong is always better than one. And we will see y'all again tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Who we got tomorrow, Merlin? I forgot again. Come on, man. Well, we haven't, we, we haven't decided yet. That's the problem. Oh, but that's what it was. <laughs> so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then you and just keep checking. But we're posted either uh, maybe not tonight, but at but least by tomorrow. The it options we have are crazy. That's I, why I, we I haven't decided. That, yeah. We got some really, 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 really good shows coming up. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in. And before we go, I want to show you one thing. One more thing. He's busy flapping his hands around. And with that being said, <laughs> who's strongest? Better than one. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. We out here. We tackle the topics America just ain't ready for. Too strong.